Professor Sesh on pestle analysis. So pestle analysis is simply just a mnemonic to help you recall the likely external factors that will impact a business. Now PESTLE just stands for political, economic, social, technological, legislation and environmental and or ethical. We'll start with political. So the classic political factors that may affect businesses will start with fiscal policy. So fiscal policy, you usually see fiscal policy as government spending and taxation. Or also you could see it as amount of debt that governments have. But if we just think about government spending, clearly the most contemporary example of this would be spending that they, governments have done in the UK over furlough schemes, for example. That's a classic example of government spending and how it has impacted businesses. Also, taxation changes. So if businesses decide to change their income taxes, decide to change their corporation taxes, their VAT, that will have differing impacts on businesses. For example, if you're a corporation and corporation tax reduces, that means you have more profits. Then what do you do with those profits? Do you invest them or do you look to retrain your staff or do you look to do corporate buybacks? Number two, government intervention. So government intervention, that is just when governments look to stick their nose in, they look to intervene in certain markets. And they're very likely to do this in monopolies. The reason why is because monopolies may not be good for society in the sense that they are anti-competitive and they would likely look to increase those prices so consumers have to pay more because consumers have no choice about where they are likely to buy that product from. So government intervention. Regulation is likely in certain industries such as monopolies. The types of regulations that a government may do, they might put price caps. So a business is only allowed to increase its prices by a certain amount. We've seen this in the energy market. Also, windfall taxes. So it might be windfall taxes is a one-off tax that's put on a certain industry, such as banking. Economic influences are part of the pest analysis. So where are you on the economic cycle? Are you booming or are you at the bust? Are you in a recession or in a boom? Interest rates, where are interest rates right now? Are they high or are they low? We know in the UK there's been a trend for a long time now of interest rates going to the absolute floor. We're sitting now on central bank interest rates at 0.1. Maybe they go right to zero or do we just QE our way out of it? Number three is unemployment. Do you have high unemployment or low unemployment? If you have high unemployment, well then there's a wide supply of workers, maybe skilled workers that you could take on, don't have to train them up, good for your costs. Exchange rates is If it's the UK, is the pound strong or weak? I mean, it looks like it's again getting weaker. So we're reversing up spice tier. So it's not strong pound imports, cheap exports, dear. It's the absolute opposite of that. Consumer income. So where are consumer incomes levels? Are they increasing or are they reducing? Because that will help the spend on certain businesses. If consumer income levels are increasing, then you want to think about the income elasticity of demand for your products and the reverse if they're falling. Number six, consumer confidence. Where is consumer confidence right now? That's clearly an economic issue. Or business confidence, where is that right now? Social factors, so demographic changes. The UK, we have an ageing population. We um, have got lots of immigration in this country. Number two, lifestyle changes. So busier lifestyles and the demands on busier lifestyles have suited, as we get into technological earlier on, have, to, have, have suited e-commerce and m-commerce. There's always new fads, new fashions, new tastes and new expectations about what society expects. For instance, with certain companies, we now expect to have the delivery as soon as possible. We don't want to wait. We want that instant nature of our deliveries. Um, Technological, so e-commerce, m-commerce in particular, just growing and growing and growing. Technological issues becoming more important. And also, businesses are looking at the ability to reduce costs, the flexible working movement, the working from home movement. It's been accelerated by a lot through the recent health crisis, but that's maybe good from a big corporation's point of view. It's going to reduce those costs, move towards automation, robotics, and also thinking about those disruptive those disruptive businesses, such as this year we've got IPOs possibly with lemonade that could look to disrupt slash destroy the insurance market. And we've got Airbnb, Airbnb looking to disrupt slash destroy the hotel hospitality market. So those disruptive businesses are clearly examples of technological change within pest analysis. Now the next is L, so the legislation, minimum wages may increase, they may fall, they may stay the same. Also national living wage within the minimum wage for the over 24s. 
Health and safety rules will clearly change in terms of legislation, and there might be any form of change in laws. We've seen a lot of them recently with emergency legislation that's had to come in since the health crisis. Environmental and ethical changes, so movements to green technology because of carbon emission taxes that may be imposed on you. And also fair trade, because using fair trade even more means you have changed your supply chain, but fair trade comes with obviously perhaps those increased costs, but maybe that extra demand you may get because your consumers are happy that you're using fair trade. So I hope that helps with pest analysis. See you in the next session.